Hello YouTube and what's going on? Sven here with another episode of Penumbra Overture. Uh, last time we had the worm chase us through chemical crazy place. Not fun. Um, but cool. Now, close to, I think we're close to the end of the game now. I kind of hope so. I'm really wanting to start the next one because I hear the next one's actually really like scary and creepy. Uh, flares. Flare. But yeah, with the new Outlast game coming out, I really, really want to play it. And I really want to play the first one. Like, I actually didn't play it, I only watched it, so... And it was so long ago that I don't even remember most of what happens. So it might actually be a good time for a little refresher, huh? Anything remotely useful here? More chemicals. So I take it I probably just have to make something just like some super unstable compound and make it blow up everything. Alright, magnesium, calcium, barium, chloride, phosphorus, and sodium. them here? I guess not. I'm assuming there's the other chemical area that I have to go to that's this way somewhere. Um, yeah. Uh oh, sneeze coming. Uh, <laughs> ah. Oh, so the other chemical storage place is... Two doors at the chemical storage, right? Oh. Yeah, okay. So I'm assuming I have to mix it in here somewhere. Yeah, there's the other entrance. Okay, um. Well, maybe not. Okay, well, let's go to the incinerator. Uh. Blast dam. It's stuck. A small gap gives me the chance to pry it open with the right tool. Okay, so I need a crow. I need the crowbar. That's for damn sure. Maybe I need to like pour chemicals on the dude's hand. Maybe. Probably. I'll try. Alright. I'll give it a, that a shot. Cause I literally am just- Uh, fuck you dog! Alright. Oh hey, and the water's still broken. Be unbroken suddenly, but hey, ah, hey, ah, hey, ah, bollocks. Da, Die again, Sven.
Okay, maybe... Maybe there was something left in my notes. Oops. To-do list, notes, chemist notes, calcium, phosphorus, badly administered dopamine clouds, frequently everything. Oh, B-A-D-C-F-E. B A badly administered dopamine clouds frequent everything. Yeah, B-A-D. So confused! I don't understand. I don't... what? There was nothing to combine it with back in the freaking room, so why the hell... I don't... Ah! I don't get it. I don't get it. You know, balls to it. Understand. Why do I even have a broom? Flashlight locked. Oh my God. Oh my. You're coming with me. Just have you, you fucker. Damn it! I forgot to set my timer again. I paused. Ah. 
so confused. No, not confused. But irked. I am extremely irked. That's so annoying. I sat here for like 10 minutes trying to mix all every fucking combination of the chemicals that I could. And then I freaking ran back. And then I fucking came back and tried to figure out if I could just tore the goddamn chem- Oh my god. This game makes me feel like an idiot, I swear to god. Didn't I have a crowbar earlier on in the game? I wanna say I did. Where are you, my shiny knight? Have you really made it this far? I wait and wait, and yet the pot never boils. I remain trapped in my den of iniquity. Perhaps the gods have toyed with me once more. Sentenced me to yet more years in this place of eternal nightlight. But now, maybe my ill advice has ended you. Have you rung death's doorbell? Please don't leave poor Ren all alone once more. Like all the others. Oh, this is... Who does this to their mind? Hello? Painkillers, painkillers. Nothing. 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 I was from Shimmy Well as a potion mixer. Ah! Fuck you. Oh. Fuck you. Fuck you. There. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Alright. Oh, whoops. Oh, I need gas before I can... Alright, badly administered dopamine for clouds frequently everything. gone. What? What? Badly administered. What? Notes. Where is it? Explosives book. Phosphorus and barium. Phosphorus. 
phosphorus, barium. So three and five. So three and five. So badly administered dopamine. Clouds frequently. There we go. I think this is it. As long as I'm careful, it should stay stable. Oh, Jesus Christ! Yeah, giga. Gently now. Ever so gently set it down. Oh. Okay. And then fuse. Oh, where the hell am I gonna run? I I'm just gonna book it. Fuck it. Yeah. Red, hello. I'm come to kill you with my pickaxe. Because I'm sure that you're not like stable enough. You're probably gonna try to eat me. Balls. This door is smooth enough. This must be where red. Leading me. Can't hold any lever. Red, do you have a lever? A red glow. Hmm. Good evening. You you, you actually came. There is much that should leave my thought box now, but words elude me. You came, you are so pretty, but I have been bad. The underworld already beckons me, so I suppose one further misdemeanor will change little. It is false attention, and not guiding light with which I have led you here. I cannot give you the answers you want. You may wish to find what it is you seek, but that is a fiction. You cannot know what it is you sought, through the vast leaden doorway, or else you would seek anything else in the world. No, the key stays with me, in here, so the life that has led me, horrible as it may be, is better still than the life that waits for you, hungry behind those doors. As the placements go, you shall be admirably abnormal. But you must wonder why this metal burning chamber is talking to you in the voice you knew only as red. For it is I, your companion, residing within. You see, I have waited for this day so many years. They won't let me die. They have parts of my head are not my own. And I cannot take my life. It is against the rules. Please, the pain has gone on for so long. All I wanted was a friend. But now, the time for chit chats and marshmallows by the fire has ended. And I hope that soon, uh, so shall my life. I have knocked on the death door for so long. Please, let him invite me in for tea. What? Is he down there or something? What? I don't... I'm confused. I am so confused. I did not get what he was... He was... What? I guess he wants me to light him on fire. Where 
dizzy even. Like I almost like it seemed like he was like in my head. Like what I don't I don't I'm so confused. Well, I guess so. Oh, he's in here. Jesus. What the hell? Righty then. dearest friend. How are you? I am well as can be expected. I have some sad news though. A few days ago there was some kind of collapse and some of the ceiling of the cave fell in on me. What scares me is that I was in an off limits part of the mine. They may not look for me here, but if they do and they find me I'll be in so much trouble. But I don't think I'll have to worry about that because I'm not sure I'll be getting out of here. I don't mind so much. I've been working in the mine for about three weeks now. And I'm really proud that I can send money home, but it's pretty tough work, and so far you're the only person that's really been nice to me. Plus, I have some nice company down here. There's some friendly kinda creepy crawlies and some books I brought from home that I was taking to the rec room. If you think about it, I was really quite lucky I had all this stuff with me, otherwise I'd be bored stiff. As it is, I have Shakespeare, Bront, Nietzsche, perfect bedtime reading. Although, I suppose it... I might be trapped here long enough that I have to read them twice. I always used to ask my mum how long people survive without food and things. I read how some people can survive underwater for five minutes, and some people can last in the desert for weeks. But she always said you had three minutes of air, three days of water, ECT. I suppose I'll probably find out soon enough. I guess if I had to, I could find food around the place. Like I said, there's all sorts of creatures here but they're better off as my friends than my lunch. I wonder whether I shall starve to death or go cave crazy first. Neither sounds too much fun, I guess, but if I had to choose, I'd say I'd want to go mad. It sounds like an adventure. That is totally quoting Poe. Tom Redwood, proper mine worker, December 1970, age 14. These are his books. Out of the way, chair. Oh, whoa. The chains on his arms are visible now. Not there out of choice, father looks on aghast. He clutches some notes, shaking hands. He knows, he knows what has come. What the man has released, the only one who could stop it. Howard knows the real fear. There, it's me. I'm inside that box and outside of it. And I don't, I can't get things straight in my head. Reams of books... Cons ethics. <laughs> That's actually quite interesting. 
is actually a very interesting little kind of twist. Wow, he was a bedwetter. Oh, what the hell? What the hell is that? Oh, it's one of the dogs. More books. Tunnel? Oh. <laughs> it's an electric panel. Funny place to have one. Oh, screwdriver. Maybe running out to the door. Can I get out now? It's a lever or something to open it. Broom! Broom, is this your time? No. stepped into the mouth of the underground facility, there should have been questions, fears, doubts running through me. Instead, I was torn in two. Part of me, I felt, had died, along with my only ally and friend. His final words had raised more questions than they'd answered, and I couldn't get his screams for help out of my head, despite knowing deep down that the pain I had caused Red was itself all the help I could have offered him. I was alone again, but I had nothing to do other than press on into the unknown. If I had felt so bad about Red, I should have listened to him and stayed where I was. I would trade his fate a hundred times for my own. The other side of me was looking forward to what might await me in my continued journey. I felt sure that I would soon find some clue or other to my father's fate and that he was inextricably linked to everything that was happening. I also couldn't help but suspect that everything I had seen up until that point was just a symptomatic of whatever lay beyond the threshold. I know now, I was right. Ooh. Welcome to the shelter. What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? No. Oh, I can't see anything. I can't even use my flashlight, what? I have plenty of batteries. Oh. Shit. What the fuck? With that, the man who had first descended to the mine was no more, and so began my next chapter. To be continued. What the fuck? Okay, um... Conf confused Sven is very confused. Wow.
I mean, I'm not gonna lie, that was actually pretty cool. I mean, it was confusing as hell, but... And I'm still not entirely sure I know <laughs> what happened, what's going on, what... I don't... yeah. Very interesting. Very, very interesting, though. So, yeah, I guess I will jump into Penumbra Black Plague. Was it? Yeah, it was Black Plague. Um, yeah. I'm gonna see if there's anything at the end of the credits, though. Uh, final thoughts about the game. Just, it's kind of an older game, and a lot of these mechanics are, they don't hold your hand as much as they do modern in modern games, and that's what I'm used to, so when I was forced to think outside the box on my own, I was just like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? And I got stuck and screwed and had to cheat sometimes, but I, I kind of liked it. But yeah, so I will probably just jump straight into Black Plague and get that uploaded as soon as I can. So thank you guys for watching. It was a great game, great series. Thank you to anyone who's been sticking around long enough to see the whole thing through. And I will see you guys with the next one.